So it's been more than a month since Russia invaded into Ukraine. Russia has said that the first phase of what it calls military operation in Ukraine is almost complete. And now the focus will be on quote-unquote liberating Ukraine's Donbas region. The announcement underlines Russia's scaled-down goals in Ukraine. It appears that Moscow could be switching to more limited objectives in its war. The Ukrainian troops have been fiercely defending their territory and it has come as a surprise, not just for Russia, but in fact for the entire world. However, the Russian Defense Ministry has said that Russian-backed separatists now control almost about 93% of the Ukraine's Luhansk region and about 54% of the Donetsk region. These two regions jointly make up the region that is known as Donbas. It is located in the eastern part of Ukraine. It is largely ethnically and linguistically a Russian region and many residents have expressed support for Moscow. Ограничиться территорией только ДНР и ЛНР в пределах административных границ Донецкой и Луганской областей, что закреплено в конституциях республик. Но тогда бы мы столкнулись с постоянной подпиткой украинскими властями группировки, задействованной в так называемой операции объединенных сил. Поэтому был выбран второй вариант, предусматривающий действия на всей территории Украины, с выполнением мероприятий по ее демилитаризации и денацификации. So what does this step mean for Russia? A senior diplomatic source in Moscow has described the move as face-saving. Russian forces have been bogged down. They've failed to take any of the major Ukrainian cities since the invasion began. They are virtually in control of Kherson and also the city of Mariupol to a very large extent has been flattened by the Russian forces. President Vladimir Putin has said that the invasion is a special operation to demilitarize and to denazify Ukraine. The West and Ukraine have called the narrative as a false pretext for the invasion. They say that the true goal here is to actually topple the Volodymyr Zelensky government. Meanwhile, the Russian officials have also said that the supply of arms to Kiev by the Western nations is a big mistake, which might lead to a prolonged conflict in the region and also could lead to more casualties. Считаем огромной ошибкой поставки западными странами вооружений Киеву. Это затягивает конфликт, увеличивает количество жертв и не сможет повлиять на исход операции. Подлинная цель таких поставок – не поддержать Украину, а втянуть ее в длительный военный конфликт до последнего украинца. But Russia said that it will insist that Ukraine should accept the loss of Crimea, a territory that Russia seized way back in 2014. Ukraine, on the other hand, has said that it is ready to negotiate an end to the war, but will not surrender or give in to Russian ultimatums. According to the Kremlin, so far more than 1,300 Russian soldiers have died, and close to about 4,000 others have been injured. Ukrainian military claims that at least 15,000 Russian soldiers have been killed in Ukraine. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.